Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. We're continuing through the book of Proverbs. And today our, our challenge is simply this. Commit it, dedicate it, and lift it up to God. Commit it to God. Dedicate it to God. Lift it up to God. And you say, what? Well, listen to this passage and you'll get a picture. It's Proverbs 16, verse 2. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. Commit to the Lord whatever you do. And so, what should we commit to the Lord? What should we offer to God and commit to God? And the answer is simply this, whatever we do, everything. And, and here's a thought. If you can't commit what you're about to do to the Lord, a little suggestion, maybe you shouldn't be doing it. I, I mean, think about this. If you're about to do something, to enter into a behavior, to go to a certain place, to, to engage in a line of thought and really kind of sh that shapes your, your way of seeing the world. If you're about to head down the road with something and you say, can I commit this to the Lord? And I don't mean just say the words. I mean, from your heart, say, God, I commit this to you. You're going to delight in this, God. You're going to love this. If I can't do that, maybe it's time to say, and maybe it's not for me. If you're a follower of Jesus and you couldn't follow Jesus into that, if you couldn't commit it to him, if you couldn't do it in his name, you say, well, that, that's not very good. I mean, there's, that means there's all kinds of stuff I love doing I couldn't do. Well, <laughs> maybe that's the message, you know. I, I, I don't get to walk through your life. I don't get to live your life. That's not my responsibility. I live my life. But more and more, I'm learning, I'm trying, and I'm in my 60s now. There's times where I look at something and go, you know what? It's not that it's horrible or bad. It might even kind of neutral, but it's not really something that God wants me involved in. It may not be between the best and the worst. Sometimes it's good and not quite as good. Sometimes it's good and really irresponsible. But to look and say, can I commit this to the Lord? And so today my encouragement to you is, is to hear these words one more time. Commit to the Lord whatever you do and your plans will succeed. There does seem to be a connection, a cause and effect that God brings about good things when we commit to him, those things that honor him. And so again, we're gonna pray right now and ask God to open our ears our eyes and our hearts to recognize if we're about to enter into something that we could not commit to the Lord. And he gives the power to resist going down that road. Will you pray with me? Living God, we can commit right now to you this prayer. We commit to you a prayer from our hearts asking that you would show us when we're going to start down a road, enter into a behavior, uh, start a pattern in our life or continue a pattern in our life that we know we cannot say this is for the glory of God. We cannot commit it to you with integrity. Would you give us the discernment to know when that's the case? Would you give us the strength to turn away from those things? And would you give us the humility to admit when we can't and get others to come alongside of us? Lord, help us commit all we do to you, knowing that what we do makes a difference in this world. We pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. Well, blessings on you. I encourage you to walk in the wisdom of God's word and of his truth. If you're part of Shoreline Church, I look forward to seeing you on campus or online this coming Sunday at 9 or 11 o'clock. And if you're part of another local church, we love the local church. It's God's family. Be actively part of your church. Be a blessing in that place. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week.